my dear friends at one point of time i was not having enough knowledge about the x0 and due to that the one day i struggled a lot whenever i open any excel file to work but with time and practice i started flipping the excel formulas tips and tricks which saves my time and efforts today i realize many people are out there who are facing the same issues which i faced and also feeling scared to come close to the excel so that's the reason i thought to share my knowledge with all of you guys who is watching this video so that they could start learning excel and go with the time so let's start with the key formula which i call it is concatenate which is used to combine text from different cells into one cell so let's start it so here is the screen with in front of you which showing some basic data and that data is very common data you know the data of green pb you are working on your excel file these are the very common data which has like name first name last name and then we expect you to club two columns last name first name into the single column that is last name and first name that is column d so your job is to club b and c text add it into the column d so for that you need to use concatenate formula to key the results okay so simple thing is whenever you put any formula in excel you have to just press is equal to when you press is equal to it will then it will show you the different options which you can use it for some time which help you to refresh your memory for example like here i'm entering concatenate so when i mention c o n then system is automatically given me an option so from there i i can refresh my memory oh i need to use the concatenate formula so then i select this thing so you have to just enter this comma and comma with the column b and then c and then now we can see what the result would be after this formula okay so let's see this comma column c back it close yes but i know that this is not what you are looking for you are looking for the name in between there should be a comma so that you know that this is the last name and this is the first name so again we have to do something in this formula to get the results so for that we have to just press this inverted commas then comma and then what it comma close that's it and that way you get the desired results so then either you can just copy paste one by one if the data is not too much big otherwise there are people who are just copy pasting selection and then copy pasting and just doing all those stuff like this but there are other people who are like suppose you have data of 1000 lines then the best option is just drag this plus icon icon of that and then enter that's it and it will drag all your data to that thing so this is the method through which you can use concatenate whenever you are having any such data in you for that you can try to do do these these things at your end and if you practice this thing i think two or three times and 100% sure that after that you don't need to remember anything about this formula because that formula is in your 
memory now when you know how to use it so this is the way so that's the reason just keep this form like your mind so that will, will help us on that okay so like sometimes you get a data in a very haphazard way like columns are mixing with each other so for that i'm just giving you a very simple tip that tip will help you to know how to organize the data the best thing is just press control a that will select control a select all the data whatever the data you want whether it is a full sheet or half sheet so that you can just select all the data and then you need to press alt h o i that's it so whenever you get any such data you want to see that in proper formatting proper column weight the best thing is use this formula so i've just given you the steps which you can keep in your mind and do three and four times whenever you receive an excel file which is not in a proper formatted manner so first step is control a that may that will help you to select your whole data and then press alt h o i the moment you press h o i the data will just present in front of you proper balanced way and it look nice also so this way you can do this thing practice this way slowly you get familiar with this small tips as well as this concatenate formula so then you don't need to remember the things in your mind and how to use this and and you don't need to be scared about that because when you do the practice that will help you a lot so it's good you should try to 